My name is Evans Mwangi. I'm the board and manager, National Daily Regulatory Services. My role is basically to supervise and provide direction for the laboratory services on a day-to-day -day basis. Over and above that, providing a framework for how the laboratory will be operating in the view of providing uh, services for the daily industry stakeholders. Uh, this establishment was launched in March 2021 by the Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries and Cooperative, the Honorable Munya. And from there we've been uh, using this facility for conducting surveillance on milk and milk products all over the country. Uh, the reason why it's important to have a, a, fast, a learning testing facility is because the industry needs to be provided information of how safe their milk and milk products are. The consumers also want to have trust in terms of what is marketed in the Kenyan milk uh, scenario. Over and above that, to provide advisory for the dairy industry stakeholders on areas that they need to improve to ensure that their product meet the requirements which are the standards set up by the industry together with Kenya Bureau of Standards. Once, once the sample is received from the market, then it's registered and taken to the various labs and we have three sections of the lab. We have the physical laboratory, we have the chemical laboratory and we have the microbiology laboratory. If the product is taken to the physical laboratory, the first thing that we do is to test its wholesomeness. And basically that is done by checking the component value, the look at it, what we call an organoleptic test where we look at the milk in itself and at a glance and you're able to see whether it's good or not. Then the milk is also exposed to take for its acidity, to take for the sedimentation, if there are any sediments which have been in milk and maybe possibly they're not captured by the physical eye. We're also able to test for the acidity for milk and milk products and also expose it also to other tests like uh, the uh, constituent tests, something we call the freezing point depression which is done by the cryoscope machine and all the other parameters, including even butter fat, to test the integrity of that milk. That's basically what is happening at the physical lab. When you go to the chemistry lab, the milk that is exposed to the chemistry lab, the chemical components of milk are tested. This is where we test for aflatoxin, a key issue that is up in the market. We also test for antibiotic residues. We also test for uh, hydrogen peroxide, which is a preservative, which is added by unscrupulous so it doesn't need to preserve the uh, milk, which is not safe and uh, other components for which relate to chemistry. We also do microbiology testing, where we test basically for the microorganisms which are present in milk and milk products, which if not found in the required standards, they can end up making the milk unsafe and can also harm the consumer. The National Daily Regulatory Laboratory tests for all milk and milk products marketed in Kenya. That means even products that are coming from regional pounds into the country. So we are able to move around uh, the various milk traders to be able to pick samples from them from supermarkets, from retail outlets, and we bring them over for testing, and we're able to communicate the results to our enforcement officers who are on the ground for purposes of taking the medial and corrective action. Over and above that, we also get uh, clients who bring in their products, and that's what we're encouraging the clients out there to do, who bring in their products when they want to know the quality of the products that they're actually involved in, and we also provide that uh, services to them. As you can see, we have a variety of milk products. We have uh, whole milk, we have uh, long-life milk products, we have skimmed milk products, we have the newly introduced lactose-free milk, we have condensed milk, we have ice creams, we have infant formulas, and we also have in, uh, imported whole milk powders. Over and above that, we also have cheeses and other products that contain milk and milk products. When we're doing uh, the analysis, we have come along, come, come around uh, several issues. Issues relating to how the milk is being produced and it ends up being contaminated, especially with uh, conditions which the business operator does not know because of the nature of milk and milk products. We've also found products which have been also been adulterated by traders who are scrupulous in the market. And it's very, very important for consumers to know that it's, it's key for them to understand how, what they're consuming. So we are finding cases where we are finding also milk having uh, additives which are coming out from farm health issues which are not uh, necessarily supposed to be there. But because of the interest that is there in the industry, it's important for them to, cap to be captured and to be seen, so that at the end of the day, when the consumer is consuming milk and milk products, they are sure that the milk that they are consuming is safe. The testing process is basically very simple. When we go out to the market, we're able to move around and uh, deal with the various business operators. We're able to pick samples of milk. When the samples of milk are collected, they are stored in a condition where the quality does not deteriorate in basically a nice condition. Then they are brought to the lab where they're registered and gone through and taken through the process of testing, which we'll be able to see, the process of testing 
and the results are analyzed and of course communicated back to the business operator for them to take corrective and remedial action if there's any problem that is found in the milk and milk products. National Dairy Regulatory Laboratory basically seeks to provide a new framework for providing safety for milk and milk products. And I think in future what we're trying to do as a board is to provide uh, testing services for the industry, for the stakeholders so that they can take advantage of a government-owned facility that has no biases in terms of reporting indicators relating to quality and safety. So as a lab, we are looking forward to partnering with stakeholders so that they can be able to use the facilities for their own good, for promoting business and investments towards ensuring that the milk and milk products at the market meet the requisite standards set out in the industry. One thing that stands out about the National Dairy Regulatory Laboratory is that we have the state-of-the-art equipment that can be able to provide latest uh, technological turnaround results. Uh, we're also looking at uh, equipment that are meeting the regional and international standards for purposes of supporting the industry to achieve its required standards and above it all to be able to leverage to the requirements for international trade.